why is the traditional concept of relevance no longer sufficient in product search and, and how should companies be thinking about relevance to better meet customer expectations? Yeah, so I think that this is something that within e-commerce we can really, it's one of the many things that we can learn from brick and mortar and what people traditionally understood there. When you're going shopping, the the point isn't like if somebody searches for like milk on a grocery website, like are you showing them milk or they search for a shirt on a apparel website, like are you showing them shirts? Like that that is necessary, but it's not sufficient. The, the thing that you really want to make sure that you're doing is like, if I'm searching for milk on a grocery website, like they might sell a hundred different kinds of milks. And unfortunately for them, like I'm not going to scroll through a hundred different kinds of milks. Right, right. They've got, you know, maybe the, the first six, maybe the first nine, maybe it's like the first two pages if they're lucky of, of results that they can show me where I decide like, is this the right sort of website company for me? And do you have the right sorts of products for me? And so it's like, you need to figure out, you know, do, do I like organic things? Do I tend to buy stuff in bulk? Am I looking for stuff that's really heavily discounted? And figuring out, do you have those things and, and which of those should you show me? And like, that's not a relevance problem. Like you could show me, you know, when I'm searching for shirts, you could show me any shirt and technically it's relevant. Like it's a shirt, right, right. but if you show me a shirt that is, you know, size extra large and it's a women's shirt and it's like covered in flowers, like you could probably know from my click stream that like, I'm not going to be able to buy that because I'm a size medium. Like I wish that I was taller. Unfortunately I'm not. So like, I won't be able to buy bigger things. I never right. buy women's clothing. You could learn that from my clickstream as well. And like, mm. I don't really buy things with flowers on it. Like that, I, that's not the sort of the colors that I like. And so if you learn from that clickstream, like what you could do when I'm searching for a shirt instead is show me something that's, that's really attractive to me. Or if you want to go more generally, like something that's attractive to, to my user base.